Alright, that looks like a gate. So, we're gonna head that way. Uh... Ancient blade. <laughs> Something called an ancient blade, but it's not a weapon. This kind of looks like it may have been a road. This is still wall. This looks like a gate, but I don't. Hurt.
Great Plateau East Chasm. I don't know if we've come to the right place or not. It does seem to have something going for it. not tell you what that something is. Another mine. God, I had no arrows.
Yay! Well, I don't think whatever it is is right here. Great abandoned central mine. Yeah, we've been here. I doubt Great abandoned central mine has anything to do with the goddess statue. us heading back where we just were in it. Yeah. Well, there's a marker or something over here and I don't know what it's for.
If I knew where I was heading, I might build something, but... Minecart's not going to do us any good to go that direction. This is probably, this is definitely got nothing to do with the goddess statue. myself back underground. I did. My next guess. I have to say, there's a lot of malice over there, but it's not malice in this one, it's gloom.
else. Why is that not working? What the heck did he do? Did he just headbutt me into the ground? Let's try this again. It's gonna be that bad that I can't even... Please kill me. I'm gonna die just to get my 12 zone. That was horrible. works better on black ground. Maybe the sand. The desert. We'll just run it. Or walk it.
Right Pato Western huh? Cap. Interesting. We've been here. Swirly real, little squirrelies on the map are indicators of where our chasm entrance are. Maybe we just won't get as much of anything done. I'm gonna head out that direction again. Uh, avoid or skip going up that hill. 
can go to what looks like a bridge. to be a stone bridge and a waterfall. I doubt this is a gate. Big dog suspension bridge. I want to use this thing again. Can I not use it because it's down here? That is how we do it, but one is not enough. Those are cannon. Hey. Oh. Sorry, if I seem disappointed. I just thought our friends might have returned. We got separated from three of our friends on the road to Gerudo Cannon. In Gerudo Cannon. One of them has come back, but the other two are still out there somewhere. The longer they're gone, the more worried I get. What if they're lost or hurt? Oh. They're experienced travelers. I'm sure they'll be fine. They probably stopped to rest in a cave or under some shade along the road, since the canyon gets so hot during the day. Not to say they'll travel fast at night. If it gets so cold, you might have to start a fire to keep, keep from freezing. But they'll be back in due time. We just have to be patient. Mm. I hope you're right. Mm. Ah. Hey there. Pretty late to be on the road, isn't it? Anyway. I've been hoping I'd see you again. Oh. You're the only reason I made it out of Gerudo Canyon alive. I thank my lucky stars for you and that refreshing splash fruit. Really? Yeah, it saved my skin. Anywho, ah. I see Brodick and Garil still haven't come back. Butrick 
may be a bodyguard by vocation, but he's a timid sort. I bet you he's hiding out in a cave somewhere. As for Garil, he's a romantic at heart. He might have gone someplace high up to get a good view of the canyon. Then again, Garil's a seasoned traveler. He would have known not to stray from the road. Anyway, I worry for both of those guys. Oh. Good evening, but what are you doing? Out oh. Are you here to help us with our investigation of these ruins? Sadly, we can't really work right now. The temperatures are pretty extreme around here, you see. The nights are so cold that without a fire, you'd freeze solid. And with the rain on top of that, well, we just can't get any work done safely right now. There has been the, some abnormal re, we, weather beyond this point. Blazing heat during the day, freezing cold at night. It's dangerous to be in the area, through, though you can take some precautions to prepare yourself. To that end, I am going to ask you a few questions to make sure you can handle yourself. If you aren't able to answer my questions, I will not let you pass. Oh. Well, ready? I'm ready. Oh. Okay, then, let's get started. Mm. Question number one. How can you be warm, best warm up when it's cold? <laughs> Correct, but the first question is the easiest oh. one. The second question is a, a bit more difficult, to, so pay attention. When it is very hot out, where should you go to cool off? Exactly right. I'm glad you are you appear to have some survival skills. By the way, dousing yourself in water would also be a good way to cool off in the blazing heat. Keep that in mind. Ooh. Okay, question number three is very important and more difficult than the last two. What cooking ingredient is effective at fending off high temperatures? Ooh. Exactly right. I'm impressed. Many have had trouble with that question. Ah. Last question. Where is in Gerudo Canyon? Could you go to avoid being affected by the extreme temperatures day or night? It's okay. <laughs> All right, you path with so much knowledge at your disposal. I'm sure you'll be fine out there. Oh, and you can take this with you too. Yay, a pepper! Oh. If you cook using this, you can stay warm for a while, even at night. Anyway, you can head on through. Take care. Alright, do we do... Uh, we're not going that way yet. Why I would like, wow, wow, I would like to go into the canyon and find those two. I want to look and see what's over here first. And I really should call it a night, bro. So. Remembering things hurts. This is why I hate tasks. He must be trying to get out into the canyon. Okay. 
One arrow. A little chilly. Oh. oh, might you be a traveler? I'm camping here so I can investigate a giant ruin, the giant ruins that fell at the entrance to Gerudo Canyon. Just up ahead. Uh -huh. Rubble and ruins have been falling all over since that people, but the ruins at the border are particularly immense. We've set up the camp so we can carry out a full investigation of that site. This area has a harsh environment, but we make interest, interesting discoveries every day. So it's worth cool. it. If you like the unique ruins up ahead, you might also be interested in visiting Kakariko Village off to the east. The various ruins there are fascinating and definitely worth your time. Was there anything else? Oh. Should keep an eye out for other investigators or travelers. If you're going to pass through Gerudo Canyon, you may find others with useful information to share. Mini stable. Ah. Hey, buddy. If you're going to Gerudo Canyon over the suspension bin, you'd rather be careful. I used to have a stable in the canyon, but ever since the upheaval sent the weather all screwy, horses hate the place. No horses meant, meant, meant no travelers, meant no business for my stable. I was ruined. I had no choice but to relocate and open a mini stable over here. But boy, do I miss the old spot. Still got both of your ears, or did I talk to one of them off? Anyway, let me know your name so I can confirm that you're a stable member. Oh. Your name is Link, you say. You're on the stable member list. Here, I'll give you one point to commemorate your first visit to my humble stable. Oh. Well, it looks like you've built up a nice little pile of points. I wish I could give you something, but if you want rewards, you'll have to visit a full-fledged stable. The closest one of those is probably Outskirt Stable, northeast, northeast of here. Ah. What brings you here? Goodbye. Oh. Dang it. All right. Let's keep going up the bridge. This is definitely a uh, construct. <laughs> Thank you. 
Q&A room. I really need to cough. When we get up the bridge and it's some kind of clue for the goddess. But I don't think that's going to be the case. 